yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, uh, yo, we got 50 Cent on Father's Day, man. We also got um, uh, Quavo and Offset with a message, man. Strong message, man. Key said, what up? We also got uh, Finesse Two Time, man, with the fireworks, man. Uh, Sassy Red disclosing our STDs and um, uh, Gucci, man. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Show up this first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for you. going to give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Yo, man, we, I want to apologize to Source. I completely forgot about this video. I thought I sent it out, man. You know what I'm saying? But I got but I got folks around me that are sick, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take care of the sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, uh, yo, sometimes it be going down that way, man. You got you to gotta help people, man. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, man. You know, I need to start this video off by saying happy Father's Day, man. Some dudes are like, yo, it's Father's Day. Exactly. You said exactly. You know what I mean? Look, if no one told you, man, Celeb Source wishes all the fathers a happy Father's Day, man. F-A-V-E-R-S. You know what I'm saying? I, look, 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 look. I, I know you're wondering how Father's Day even started, man. <laughs> um, Listen, it started with a woman. You see, <laughs> look, women make everything better, man. Imagine a world with nothing but men. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, look, you like, there wouldn't be a species of humans. Correct. Without the opposite sex, there would be no human species. Period. You see what I'm saying? See how nature's perfect, man? It knows exactly what it's doing, and it's not dependent, dependent upon its feelings, man. Anyway, a woman named Sonora Smart died. One of, um, one of six children raised by a widower um, tried to establish an official equivalent to Mother's Day for male parents. She went to local churches, YMCA, shopkeepers, government officials to drum up support for her idea as she was successful, man. Wa um, Washington State celebrated the nation's first Father's Day on June 19 of 1910 in, in you know, United States. It became official in 1924. Uh, courtesy of President Coolidge, man. Shout out to him. And since then, Father's Day have been getting uh, fathers been getting ties like crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, uh, what you get for Father's Day? <laughs> yeah, look at you trying to fish for information. Uh, now, some of y'all, um, <laughs> some of y'all like Happy Father's Day to my mother. <laughs> she raised us by herself and did a damn good job. <laughs> Apparently, not good enough. Okay, you're thinking about Mother's Day. Stop confusing the two. All right, <laughs> look. You came out your you came out your mother's tummy, man. She was born a female. She raised you as best she could. She's a phenomenal mother. She's not a father. You see what I'm saying? If she has a penis and a deep voice and a beard, that's your dad. That's not your mom's. You see what I'm saying? You like she got a deep voice and a beard? Then shout out to your mom's. Testicles and a penis, that's Father's Day. You see what I'm saying? If my dog saved me from drowning, he ain't a certified lifeguard. That's my dog. You see what I'm saying? People getting stuff mixed up. You know what I mean? Just because somebody saves their life, that don't necessarily make them an EMT. Anyway, um, uh, 50 Cent had something to say for Father's Day. This is what he had to say. He said, um, uh, happy Father's Day. Take the time out to do something nice for yourself because they're going to give your ass a new power tool. LOL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, you about to, yeah, a lot of y'all got power tools today. And um, uh, look, if it was better than last year's power tool, then damn it, you got some, okay? Um, if they treated you nice or somebody told you happy Father's Day, and then, then just, just take it. Just take it. You know what I'm saying? Just take what you get. You know what I mean? You know why fathers got their mother dog got their what they get? Because that's just the way it is, man. Life is hard for men, period. You know what I'm saying? They give us dangerous jobs, period. You know what I mean? When the house is burning down, we got to get the women and the children out first, even though our skin burns just as crispy. You see what I'm saying? When somebody's <laughs> house is burning down, house is crumbling, anything like that, the you, men, you got to be the last one out the house. When there's a when there's a bump in the night, you got to go downstairs and go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Even though the, your wife got like, you know, the, the weapon behind you, and stuff, but you got to go out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my fathers out there that are risking life and limb to see what went bump in the night. Um, uh, check this out. Allhiphop.com said, this is allhiphop.com post. They said, y'all got Monday off or y'all job a little racist? <laughs> I thought that was great. I was like, that's a good question, All Hip Hop. I need y'all to put that in the comments below. Y'all know tomorrow is Juneteenth, okay? Celebrating when blacks were um, like officially free. You know what I'm saying? Juneteenth, June 19th. Um, so check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, I want to know if you got your uh, yo post tomorrow. All you got to do is 
All you got to do is post if you have off tomorrow. What you do and if you're off. Post that in the comments for me so we can see. Let us know what you do and if you're off. We'll determine the rest. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, shout out to All Hip Hop for that good, good, good question. Just throw this one out here, okay? Shout out to Tyrese and Van Lathan. They posted um, an image, and it says, this is happening in Memphis. Memphis police are looking for help to identify a man accused of robbing an elderly woman at gunpoint at, um, at, at an ATM last month, okay? It happened on May 13th around 5 p.m. at the Orion Federal Credit Union ATM. Um, dramatic images show a, a man, black man, wearing a blue hoodie and a Puma logo, white slash tan sweats and tan flip-flops. This guy's doing it in damn flip-flops. Somebody come get this man. Police say the suspect took off in a 2015 red Hyundai Elantra. Um, if you can and source got the pick up, please, please zoom in on the pick, post the man, and, and let's find this man that decide he wants to rob your grandma. Because if that was your grandma at the ATM, he's going to rob her. Let's find this man and properly reward him. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're here for, man. That's what we're here for, okay? Uh, save it. Save, shout out to Save. Uh, love Save, man. Save said that thing with Boosie looked like a setup. They were honing in on his backside. Then the guy in the, bl in the black hoodie sweats as hot as it was, so you could see the contrast. Um, that was a setup. Yo, a lot of dudes wear um, hoodies in the, in the summertime, you know what I'm saying? For a variety of reasons. Some people use it to uh, wear hoodies to, to lose weight. Here, but here's the thing, though. You know how they said there was the, um, the interview that he did with uh, whatchamacallit? You know what I'm saying? That might have did it. Um, and then we posted the IG like, no, no, no. But but here's the thing. I'm pretty sure it was the feds or the police or whoever. They said, hey, it wasn't the interview with what's his name. It was this. <laughs> and the question becomes, since when did the feds or the police department tell us exactly how they nabbed someone? You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, like, oh, we got it off of IG Live from the IG Live of a known gang member. Since when did they tell us that? Since never. Which makes us wonder, like, why did y'all tell us that you got it off of an IG Live exactly? You see what I'm saying? I find it weird when they tell us things like that. Anyway, um, uh, Mr. Woke. Mr. Woke got something to say. He said, yo, Celeb, man, chill on the warnings to these criminals. They getting what they deserve. I'm glad the internet don't associate with street code. The best witness is a camera for justice. Yeah, yo, man, Mr. Woke is real, man. He's he's, he's speaking real talk too, man. You know what I'm saying? We really shouldn't warn people. We really, I, I, but here's the thing, man. I want to warn the person that, that wants to, I want to give somebody the way out. The warning is to say, here is your opportunity to get out. You see what I'm saying? I believe even when people are in hell, they're going to see and remember with clarity all the opportunities they had you see what i'm saying to make the right decision and how they cuffed that up you see what i'm saying uh and lastly man shout out to dark side man dark side real talk my man said you're not sure which of celebs translators is the funniest the lack the yakalator the rondelator or the shackalator uh celeb do a vote yo 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 let me know man i want to know which the, which one y'all think is the best one which later is the best later the Yakalator, the Rondelator, and the Shackalator. Personally, my favorite is the Shackalator. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, love, I love women in Home Depot. When they post their picture and stuff like that. <sighs> it get me all hot and bothered. I mean, I, to me, that's my favorite. I'm not saying it's the best. It's just my favorite to do. Uh, <laughs> oh, please say, I definitely participated in that vote. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, check this out, man. Let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up, man. Um, check this out. Quavo and Offset. They have posted, uh, um, apparently, it is um, uh, Takeoff's birthday today. You know what I'm saying? They're celebrating his birthday, man. Quavo posted happy birthday takeoff, man. Can't wait for days like this again. Um, best believe we going up all week. The rocket way geeked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you 29, Ninja. You know what I mean? Um, take off for infinity, man. Meanwhile, Offset posted, happy birthday, Rocket Man. The greatest to touch a mic. Best spirit ever. Purest man, I know your heart was golden. Bring me peace, bro. We celebrate your life because you still right here. I love you, gang. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, uh, yeah, man. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a tragic, tragic situation, man. What happened with Takeoff? It always be tragic, man. A lot, everybody love that dude. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, we pray for peace in um, the hip hop culture, man. Real talk, man. That's because that's what we need, man. We need peace in the hip hop culture. You see what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here? Didn't I? Where my, where my, where my joint at? Oh, yeah. right, let's check this out, man. Um, oh, 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 by the way. Fireworks, yo, we're gonna have a short video today because uh, I gotta take care of people. Check this out. Fireworks went off um, at Finesse two times after party. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, people are very, very eager for the 4th of July to begin. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and man, they just couldn't. Woo! They just. I, I don't even know if they're fireworks. I actually think they're noise poppers. Take a listen to the noise poppers that went off at Finesse two times after party. Take a listen. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know what that was. It could have been somebody clapping their hands. It could have been somebody with a noise popper. You ever have the little snaps that you throw on the floor? Like, pop, 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 pop. You know what I'm saying? It could have been that. It could have been anything. You know what I mean? It was a finesse two times after party. And I remember when Charleston White said, uh, concerning the 10-year-old, that the 10-year-old is at these parties where there's always things happening at the party. I think this is one of them things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, check this out. Remember a couple days ago we said if you got an STD, put that joint in the comments below. <laughs> well, uh, um, matter of fact, who was it? Who was it? Somebody, somebody had posted. Who was it? Um, dang, somebody had posted. Didn't I have the joint? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had it up, man. Come on, man, get it together. I right, look. Somebody had posted this. They said, they said, uh, Jojo. He said, I came to see who updated their STD reports. Apparently, it, Sexy Red did. Okay. <laughs> Look, look, look. When I, we started saying post your, post your STDs in the comments, man. Bunch of y'all started looking out the window like I was talking to somebody else. I'm talking directly to you. You know what I'm saying? And look, I get it. <laughs> we all want to look as perfect as possible. But sexy red is like, cover all that. You know what I'm saying? Red is like, I'm going to keep it a stack. And said, um, the following take a listen. Mayo. For chlamydia? Yeah. And yeah. he went to the doctor and they were like, cause me and my, this is what happened. Me and my nigga was together mm -hmm. and we broke up cause he was cheating on me. So then we broke up. Then I went and did me. <laughs> oh, then shit. he did him. And then we got, got we together. missed each other, came back together. Something went right. We both was like, what the fuck is this real? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, ugh, what's going on? So did then we both to the went together? to the doctor. Yeah, we went to the doctor yeah. together. Yeah. And then we both was like, well, you fuck two people. And he, he like, you fuck two people too. I'm like, well, we don't know who did it. Damn. We still don't did know. Did y'all call the people that y'all was with and let them know that something went right? I I think I mm. Chlamydia. Ain't that the clap? <laughs> okay, okay, look, look. I, I looked it up, right? Um, chlamydia is not the clap. They sound the same in the beginning, but they're not the same. Uh, gonorrhea is the clap, but both of them is caused by bacteria. You know what I'm saying? As you already know, herpes is a virus. Uh, HIV is a virus. I, I'm pretty sure a virus, I'm, I'm almost positive, a virus you can't get rid of. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a virus is your friend to the end. <laughs> Heidi ho. <laughs> right? What, what's the classic? Put that joint in the comments below. Uh, those of y'all that's, um, those of y'all that's playing the I want to live the artist game and sleep with people, like as many people as I possibly can sleep with, uh, playing follow the leader and getting <laughs> duped on Facebook to live your quote unquote best life. You know what I'm saying? Here's, here's uh, what you playing chicken with, okay? You got uh, bacterial vaginosis, you can get that. Chlamydia, which uh, can make it um, difficult to get pregs. You got, um, and, and it has a smell, apparently. You got gonorrhea, which looks like the COVID spike protein joint hepatitis, which is the leading cause of liver cancer and the most common reason for liver transplants. Um, and you know, your liver filters poisons. I mean, toxins out your body. Okay. You got genital herpes, old favorite. You know what I mean? Um, and the common STDs, man. I look, I mean, every time I talk to people, I look at their lips, directly at their lips. Like, let me see if you got the joint. But you can't even tell sometimes. Most people with herpes, man, they don't even know they have it. Okay. You got um, HIV, AIDS, man, the monster man. And who could forget? Monkeypox. Woo! That one's scary. Okay. Um, but I think that involves rubbing more than boning. You know what I mean? <laughs> you like, yo, did he just say boning? I did. You know what I mean? I was listening to um Two Live Crew yesterday and uh what's the what's it was it uh what, you, the was it the Hoochie Mama song? I don't think uh, that's the live crew. I don't remember. Um <laughs> you like I ain't tuning in for all of this. This this STD talk. <laughs> 
What you, what you talking about, man? You had two or three of these joints, man. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I'm trying to help your behind. You know what I'm saying? You got, look, you got MGM, PID, syphilis, trichomoniasis, chancroids, scabies. It's crazy out there in them streets, man. Find you a partner, marry them, stay off the damn streets. You know what I'm saying? And if you get married, don't think. It's all about the romance, man. The focus of marriage should be to provide a unique bond of friendship, mutual support, and emotional connection with another person, companionship. You're getting married to complement someone else's weaknesses with your strengths. You see what I'm saying? See, that's where that sense of completeness will come in, man. Marriage should help individuals develop virtues like selflessness and patience and forgiveness, love. You know what I'm saying? Technically, it should enable you to become a better version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Which means it's gonna be challenging. And women initiate 70% of the divorces, man. So y'all need to up y'all damn stats. You understand what I'm saying? Men ain't perfect by a long shot. But ladies, up your damn stats. You know what I'm saying? You initiating 70% of the divorces. It's Father's Day. You know what it is. Up your damn stats, ladies. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to tell you. You know what I mean? A lot of dudes don't want to tell you because they want to bone you. But I'm telling you, up your damn stats. And, and lastly, marriage is the foundation of the family unit. You know what I'm saying? It's good for raising the next generation. That's how you pass on values and traditions and faith. Um, and it provides stable environment for children. See, there's a lot of reasons to get married, man. Stop running around in the streets. You know you ain't happy doing that. You know what I mean? Um, uh, anyway, thank you, uh, Sexy Red, for letting us know you, um, you had chlamydia and it stunk. Uh, she said she got chlamydia twice. Thank you, Sexy. <laughs> you inspired a whole group of people to stay off the damn streets. And finally, wrap this bad boy. It was supposed to be short. Source, I apologize once again, man. I completely got lost track of time, man. You know what I'm saying? I took a nap in the middle of the day. I'm so ashamed of myself. Listen, as many of you already know, Gucci Mane dropped the song with Lil Baby. Um, let me go listen to it real quick. All right, I listened to the song. Um, uh, Gucci did that. You know what I'm saying? He did that. Okay? When I listen to a track, I get nervous. I hope such and such be doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? And Gucci held it down. You're like, well, what about it? I said Gucci held it down. You know what I mean? He held it down. Okay? Listen. Gucci made a statement. He said, quote, I want my M's up to one, two, three, four, five hundred. I ain't arguing on no internet. I'm not whack 100. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whack 100 hit the booth immediately, but not before he hit the internet. He said, quote, uh, uh, at Gucci, you dissed me, huh? I heard that ish. Whack 100 diss track response coming in two days. Knock off Gucci. <laughs> knock off Gucci. Gucci knock off, get it? Um, he said, I'm really the main. Uh, sit down, they say, as with family. Go stream that ish. Um, close quote. Yeah, that'll be interesting, man. Hey, look, man, anything for the culture, man. Make music, make music, make music, and make hot music. Make, make hot music. You see what I'm saying? Yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Um, how's it, how was your father's day, man? Let us know, man. Uh, hit us with a like, man. Hit us with a, a sub. Thanks for tuning in to Celeste Source. Your source for celeb news.